the northern kingdom, they say, man, look, that ain't us coming across the borders. Oh, yeah. That ain't nothing but um Asian migrants. Yep. That ain't yep. nothing but fucking um, Hamites. Chinese. Yep. Hamites. Niggas from overseas. Chinese. <laughs> exactly. It was just some Elamites in the hood. Come hey, on. Hey, hey, Hamites you, got, you got Hamites. northern kingdom going back home. Yeah, hell yeah. They said, fuck this place. Well, like, like your man said in the video, what you just said, he says, uh, he said, all, all those Mexicans know we come here to get money. We don't want to fucking live here, here like here, that. No. We're sending our money back. We got we build it up at the crib. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, growing up in the '90s, I know the Hispanics for coming to America for a few months working and getting the fuck out of here and going back home and enjoying that money. Mm -hmm. They didn't stay here too long, man. They came here straight for bread. It was a business thing, man. Wise man. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No, no, ain't nothing no, wrong with no. that. That's called a smart move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Work, especially your money is worth more across the border. Yeah, yeah. You don't went home and built a big ass mansion, man, and you own your own shit. Real food, you real food. Hey, my uh, animals ain't got uh, all that bull steroid jack. The woman ain't talking shit. Right. Uh, you see what happened in Central and South America? That white man spirit that took over that motherfucker, man. That's why them cartels. Who you think gave them cartels all them goddamn guns, man? That's American weapons, man. Oh yeah. Funded, gave yeah. given to you by American uh, politicians. Yeah. There's a thing called the uh, uh what was it called? The Rolling Thunder. Ro Roll Thunder, man. Rolling Operation Rolling Thunder. Hey, this dude always gives away his secrets, man. Operation Paperclip, Operation Brother Thunder, Operation, um, Operation, Operation. Operations after Operations. And what? Who they buy them? The CIA, man. You know what I'm saying? The ones that you trusted, man. You know? Right? They this set up um, puppet governments. Kind. Right? You thinking this leader is for the people. Oh, nobody knows this, this, this man they done set man, up, man. Come on, man. Hey, this man that came out. Like of, yeah, he don't even look like half the people in the country. If you look at a lot of the presidents in Central and South America, they look like fucking uh, Spaniards. Yeah, they look like Spaniards and Roman Catholic looking motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You got some, bro? I have one. This um, brother was mentioning about the about the stuff that's messed up in the world, man. This is uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And hey, it's, it's uh, unjustly in this society, man, especially uh, the scriptures talk about uh, they, they do unjustly decrees and the laws, all this and that. Like the brother was mentioning, he said, majority of these people that have been here in America are not getting helped at all. And, and they got they got different people coming in from different countries and they're helping them. They're giving them money. Everything. They jumped out 16 first. Uh, this uh, Proverbs 29 and 16. It says, okay, right when, the, when the wicked yeah, are yeah. multiplied, transgression increases. Yeah, man. The wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, man. Matter of fact, not just the Edomites doing the wickedness, you got all these people who follow him doing the wickedness, man. Strip to say, after who he is for all the people, man. Yeah. And, right. and like we were saying earlier, man, our own people are gravitating around each side as we get moved, man. That's why they don't want to see this place go down, man. Yeah. You know? When we're out here uh, uh, condemning this place, when we're out here pushing this word, because the word is, is, is telling our people to come out of this with the place, they don't want to, man. They love this place. They love what the wickedness gives them, man. And don't, don't, don't matter what he saw, the fucked up shit he saw doing. Just by a yeah. simple flat fact that I'm feeling the lust of right, my flesh, right, right. that I won't stay here. Or if the devil gives him a crumb, he'll still feel happy. Yeah. He gave me something. Right. Man, you niggas are stupid, man. Yeah. You, yeah. I, hey, is Israel a homeborn <laughs> slave, man? You motherfuckers are stupid, Boy. man. Hell. That's he do he do that. So, so, right, here, here, get this. Quit complaining. Go, go. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look. They just had this goofy bad Super Bowl the other day, and you got this dumb bitch throwing these demonic signs. Like this is the first time you've seen this shit, huh. man. Who was that? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, Snow, uh, Ice Spice, or Ice, yeah. oh. Ice Spice. That, yeah, Ice Spice. But I'm saying, like, this ain't the first time, man. The whole shit is demonic, man. Everything is demonic. But then you got the bitch with the red dress, the dress from the whole shit, and, and this devil. And you know, anything about the colors and shit, whether it be red or the blue, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they dwell on that shit, man. And you know they kicked the Bible. They yeah, yeah, but that, the Bible. yeah, that was, that was even my Super Bowl. They had a, oh, a okay. little <laughs> church festival. With, that was, man, I'm gonna put the video up for that one. I got that one saved, <laughs> man. That was, that was crazy. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. And this is who you want to rule over you and, and, and want this place to be continue on, man? Yeah. Are you crazy, man. man? The beautiful thing about it is, it don't matter what they think. The Lord said this nigga gotta go. No, uh, it's in the scriptures. It's time. It's up. It's gonna be. That's gonna be fulfilled. The Lord gonna get this devil out the way. Cause if he don't, 
you can kiss this chick goodbye. Right? Ain't no flesh gonna be safe. Hey, he, yeah. w, w used to say, time is up. A few years ago, that player had their slogan. When Obama was in office, that's what they were saying. Time is up. Yeah, you're right. That was time is up for you. You're being exposed. It says, but the righteous so see their fall. Yeah, we were seeing his fall. The script say that Joyce is going to, uh, he that lived to see the fall is the enemy. The righteous going is rejoice, going to rejoice when this devil falls. All right, completely falls, man. Matter of fact, uh, what's the Isaiah uh, 14 to tell you that everything going to rejoice when the oh, yeah. wicked yeah. gets Trees, out of power. Yeah. Flowers, the yeah. animals, everything, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Beautiful scriptures, man. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And um, especially the children of Israel, the people on this side. Because you no longer got to go work for this man no more. Slave. You slave. no longer got to worry about money being taken out of your paycheck. Yep. You no longer got to worry about sending your children to schools where they're going to teach your children to be a fucking faggot. Right? right? Mm -hmm. They're going to teach your children about white superiority. Yep. Right? And then the nigger woman going to try to want to be white. Oh, yeah. Right? The Hispanic woman going to try to want to be like a white woman. Yeah, the Hispanic man going to try I mean, the man going to try to want to be like a white woman. The Hispanic man gonna try to want to be like a white woman also, cause that's a new movement. All these niggas want to be bitches. Man, yeah, they want to be bitches, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So and, and that comes with this goddamn weak ass society vibration, man. And you want to continue going on? <laughs> you got Tyrese talking about man. He's mad. At, he think he's talking about he a Christian, and a few weeks later he's in a fucking dress. Come on, There's something wrong with fucking Christianity, man. Yeah, yeah, First yeah. off, Christianity was built off this motherfucker's back. Devil, lies and deception, right? You got your dumbass preacher in the church, gay as hell, man, looking at your little nephew and your son, ready to pop him and shit, telling you this is the way. Right. This, is, hey, this is the way. This is not the way. All you gotta do is ask the Native Americans, man, where they at right now. Hell yeah. reservations following after this bullshit. They said, man, I don't know where they at. Ask the so-called Hispanics. Ask the Negroes if this is the way. Hell no. This ain't no goddamn way, man. This is the way to death. This all it has done for our people, man. That's it, bro. You got churches. I remember this, this before I woke up. So my older brother, he in the damn, he go to church, he choir and stuff. He a singer. Yeah. All the niggas in the church, black as tar, <laughs> and got this stupid ass image of them, man. Yeah. yeah. And, and worship it, they love it. Yeah. And then when you tell them, this is a false image, they ready to fight and scrap it. Yeah. Tell our people that, man. You know, motherfucker got a picture of Obama, Martin Luther King, and Jesus fucking Christ on the wall. Man. It's a spell, man. It's a demonic spell upon our people, man. Come on. Hey, man, give me um. This is a people robbed and spoiled, man. You continue with that, I. No, that was it on that one. Oh, okay. I, I had another one. The say uh, the elder mentioned, hey, the Lord already wrote and his destiny for Esau, man. He's gonna fall, man. It's, we just talk about the second edge of six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world, yeah. and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So that that world meaning kingdom, man. And, and his kingdom is about a fall, man. And Yahweh Shimon Shai's kingdom is about a it's about to go up, man. And that kingdom is gonna be an everlasting kingdom, man. Yeah, that's in the Daniel second chapter, how he's gonna uh, come and conquer, break a piece, break a piece of that statue. Yeah. Conquer all the other kingdoms and establish his own. Hey, and through the spirit, look at the Chinese, their society is collapsing, but they're not talking about it's the end of our world. Right. Yeah. They're not talking about doomsday clock. Look at in Africa, that motherfucker been in it. They ain't talking about the end of their world. Right? The Arabs, they dropping bombs in them niggas. They ain't talking about it's the end of their world. Only person talking about that is the European people, man. Right. Show you they know they have power. Mm -hmm. And the kingdom is, is collapsing. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. It's, it's really a queen. Mm -hmm. That's why that Statue of Liberty, man. You don't know if it's a man or a woman on that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From France. Yeah. From France. You could see the nigga print through his dress, too, man. Hey, hey, well, well, 2020, as hell. In 2020, uh, 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 2020 over, you know what I'm saying, LGBTQ plus labeled that a tranny up there. That's a tranny up yeah, there. We don't know what it is. We don't bro. know what it is. That's a uh, bath, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yup. <laughs> yeah. It. Forget everything. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got one. Uh, Daniel 44. And in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. So it ain't gonna be for everybody. The only one be short heirs is the Israelites. That's right. <laughs> so that proves it right there, man. 
You eat them ice, ain't got a chance. Or you other the heathen nation, man. You got your kingdom already. Well, they say no chance in hell. Yeah. And that nigga physically ain't taking chance in hell. Come on, good. It said, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. Yeah, yeah, how is Shai coming back to be a bully? Our Lord is coming back to kill motherfuckers, chop motherfuckers' heads off, burn cities, destroy buildings, um, and kill a whole lot of fucking people. That's right. right. And tell you the body, he said it's gonna be dead motherfuckers from one end of the earth unto the other. He said the slain of the Lord is gonna be many. many. Yeah. So what the hell is your pastor talking about, man? Go ahead, bring it out, brother. It says, and this shall stand forever. Whoa. Ooh. I can't go stand forever, man. Mm -hmm. Never end it. Never, ever, ever, ever. ever, ever. ever. But no, after a thousand years, the Satan gonna come out of his hole, brothers. That's what it says. That's what it says in the Bible, brothers. How the hell? How the hell that's gonna happen? How, you, how the hell that's gonna happen? Cause the reason we in the situation we in right now, cause we went off and get our power. So, but this, he gonna write the law, statute, commands in us. So we not not gonna we gonna obey the, obey, the, obey the voice of the Lord and never go off again. So that law tells you that we're not gonna ever fall again. That's right. So we gonna. Obey the Lord, man. That's right. And we're going to have spiritual power. How the hell are you going to take a, a, a nation of people down with spiritual fucking power? Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. It don't make sense. No. Because you niggas love this devil. You love him ruling over you, man. Right. You basically saying he going to beat the Lord. Yeah. It's like you just said. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he going to just overtake the will of the Lord. The Lord said this kingdom going to stand forever. Esau so powerful, I have to get his ass whooped in slavery for a thousand years. Yeah, he's just gonna overcome all that. Beat us, beat the Lord, yeah. <laughs> defeat the other nation. Yeah, cause really, cause they, said, they said this guy is gonna rise up in the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna rise up in the kingdom and take down the Lord. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Jake just won't want the devil to rule over him. Yeah. Hey, Jake don't want to run the show. He want to work for the show. Yeah. No. This uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold. The Lord will come with fire and with his chariots, like a whirlwind, to render his anger with the fury. Yeah, most of these people ain't nothing but fuel for the fucking fire, man. Right. That's all you are. There's a fucking, um, what is it? Your expiration date is right around the corner. That's right. Yeah, you're, at, you're about to be expired off this fucking earth. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, because the Lord's got judgment in many ways coming for this place, man, for you people, man. You know, uh, we got something called Jacob's Shoulders coming, man, very yeah, soon. Very and our sure. people still think everything's a joke, everything's a game. That's why they're increasing the follies when you think about it. Like, more and more Super Bowls pushing faster, more and more fights and shit, more and more UFC fights. The you branded circuit. We just did yeah. a video on that. Con, con. Trans and Esau was doing some dirt while y'all distracted with the Super Bowl. Yeah. Left and right, man. He always does it, man. Yeah. He, he always does it. countries. Yeah. yeah. Passing kills. new bills. Unrighteous bills, man. And they right. kill some bankers on the way yeah, to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, stupid uh, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you from Africa, nigga. You were supposed to be going to a soccer game. Come nigga. on, man. Right. Hey, yeah. hey, tr hey, trust your enemy, man. You yeah. know this is the fucking yeah. devil. Yeah. You know what's going on. You know what's going on over Nigeria. The devil's over there trying to take over your fucking oil and everything else, whatever natural resource you got over there. But you gonna trust the motherfucker to come to watch his sport? Yeah, they probably didn't want to go with that digital system. Yeah. It was power move, we know that. Oh yeah, somebody, we know that. they got somebody money. On the left hand side, that was a yeah. power move, man. I mean, that's what the devil does, man. When everybody's watching one thing, he comes and undertakes you for something else. Yeah, man. yeah. You know, as he does it all the time, man. Right. Ain't nothing right. new, man. It's nothing new, man. Hey, uh, when, um, it works. Kind man, when, when, when he was taking over America, when he was coming through the western parts, he pushed Gad all the way. He said, Gad, you need the whole west. And he's like, no, you're going to just get this one part. He put him in Oklahoma. He's like, you know what? You can't get this whole state of Oklahoma. I'll put you in this one corner part of Oklahoma. And he kept making the shrinker and shrinker and smaller and smaller. And then Gad found oil over there. And he's like, you know what? Hey, get these niggas involved in Oklahoma, man. They came to have Oklahoma. They sent them to uh, New Mexico and sent them to uh, Minnesota and other parts, man. With other reservations, man. That sounds like what's happening in Israel right now, boy. They would not you with them. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are the Palestinians. Like they had the whole country at one time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, now, them motherfuckers, man, they about to. They about to. Put some water. Yeah, yeah they, they about to be in the ocean. <laughs> Yeah, where the they Palestinians are water. in the water. <laughs> <They're not. laughs> Their dead bodies are in the water. <laughs> they living on boats in the water. Surviving in the water and shit. Yeah. Trying to. That's Esau Edom. He ain't, hey, the Bible said he ain't gonna leave nothing for nobody. Come on, man. They, that's why he, they cried after him as after a thief. You so-called white people. You them five-finger discount motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. you, you can't be trusted with nothing. <laughs> nope. 
Yeah, yeah, that, uh, what is it? Half coup, they cover fields and take them by violence. It's that like bloody that man. Violence. Psalm says they wear violence as a garment. Oh. Yeah. This is the man, of, hey, this is the man of sin, the son of perdition. This mm -hmm. is the devil. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 14 says he who smote the people in wrath and ruled the nations in anger. Hey, and the Lord is going to come back and destroy you, man. Ruled the nations in anger. And what did you mean by rule of nation's anger? Hey, if you motherfuckers don't get off these resources, I'm gonna kick your ass and put you in more debt, put you, uh, you know, uh, serve too longer. You know what I'm saying? That's how Esau comes with it, man. You know? Hey, truth of Esau, it, it goes back to the Roman days, man. When the Romans come through, man, when they wanted something and you didn't have it, you better have it at a certain time or they come and take the whole land, man. Or, or take it, killing uh, the, just the men or the women or some shit, man. They, they, they'll make up some of this rule, you know? I got this. this Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they come in fields and take them by violence. Yeah, America was not given to the so called Europeans. America was taken from the Native Americans. By violence. By violence. By the sword. By I mean, job, we're talking about the Gatling gun and how it changed the war, right? Because at one time, man, the Native Americans was whooping this devil's ass. Oh, yeah. Why do you think the devil was calling for reinforcement, telling other Europeans, hey, free land. We'll give you free land. We'll give you a house. We'll give you anything. Just come over to the Western world, right, to help fight off Gad, mm -hmm. to help fight off Gad. Mm -hmm. And um, when that wasn't helping, man, the Lord gave him something called that Gatlin gun. That white boy come through with that Gatlin gun, spraying the Native Americans and killing them. Yeah, that's why he's known as a bloody man. Right? Because he, the fields, he got them by violence. violence. The lands and the countries, he got them by violence. Right? Why do you think Africa is named after a so-called white man? Why do you think America is named after a so-called white man? Colombia, all these different countries, right? One thing they do, they whoop the people's ass and name the country after themselves, man. All day. This Habakkuk chapter 2 and 12. Woe to him that built up a town with blood and established a city by iniquity. Go ahead, bro. And woe is destruction. That's how the self-proclaimed white man, the devil of the Bible, got this land and all the other lands by um, uh, rape, robbery, and murder. And guess what? The Lord is going to require that from him, man. He thinks that he just got all this land. He said he got it done it by his own self, his own wisdom. But guess what? You sore deceived. When the Lord returns, he will make you pay for the violence against the children of Israel and all the violence you can put in, uh, in this earth. Hey, 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 and then when you bring these accounts to the devil, He's, he's prideful about them, man. He's very prideful. We were working at a bar, and um, we talked. We bought some of these accounts to the devil about what, how he did God. And he's like, man, I ain't gonna even lie to you, man. My people are number killers, man. My yeah. family is a bloodline of killers, man. That's what, that's what he said. That's the devil said out his own fucking mouth, man. So these fucking devils know who they are, man. He said, man, I'm scared. The way you guys are so prideful about your culture, man, I had to go do some research. Man, we come from a long line of killers, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me and my family. Man, he was proud about yeah, it. Yeah, hell yeah. Matter of fact, he gave us a shot. So he made it. He gave us a drink, so, so we could sit down yeah, and, and yeah, relax. He, 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 yeah. he wanted to go back. Yeah. I'm like, man, we don't want to hear about this shit. Man. I'm talking some expensive shit. We, we were drinking some good shit, man. Y'all yeah. need to hear this, man. I'm, I'm, I gotta get this on my chest, man. That, it was like a sign of relief coming up this devil, man. And yeah. here's a house. We knew he was a devil, man. These motherfuckers got a house just with guns in the house. Mm. I don't even think they live in that motherfucker. He said, yeah, that house is just with weapons. <laughs> go ahead, brother. This Psalm 73 and 8. They are corrupt and speak wickedly <laughs> concerning oppression. They speak lawful. Man, right. that's that devil, man. They take pride in, in, in murdering people, take stealing pride, land, hey. destroying heritage. Yeah, we, we tired of his hide. That's yeah, what we tired about, that's what we tired of doing, man. Hide, yeah. you know? And he hides it through different generations. At one time, things. it was known as history, oh, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Man, you open that history book, it's a Native American running for his fucking life with some white boys behind him, man. Yeah. We're yeah, talking. With the other cats hanging off the uh, buildings. Buildings and shit. Yeah. Hey, you but, got... but with time, the pictures start changing. Yeah. They're like, oh man, no, this looks bad for us. Yeah. So, so then he'll try to hide it because you remember you got certain restaurants in Chicago where you got to look at it real clearly, and there might be brothers hanging off in the background of the motherfuckers, man. Subway, and it was a Subway restaurant somewhere in Chicago, man. They had that shit, man. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and, yeah, pictures in the background, man. You know. So this devil, he uh, takes pride. He'll, he'll he'll put it in your face at times, man. Yeah. You got um right like I said a while back, man. Right down the street, you got something about, called a border plaque where the devil has said, man, Gad can't cross this point. So the lake is right up over here, and he told Gad he couldn't come over this way, man. This is as far as the border he could come to, man. He has so, his own land. Yeah, in his own land, man. Damn devil. <laughs> hey, yeah, a real bitch ass red nigga, man. <laughs> hey, you know, this uh, yeah, man, cause um. Uh, 
Yeah, man. He's tied high. It's going to come in great round, knowing his time is short. So mm -hmm. it's going to feel good to get off his chest. Like, yeah, you got me. I'm the devil. Like Yaki always say. You want to use that sword too, man. Yeah. It's hard. You want to yeah. put that sword to use. Yeah. The Lord said um, he's going to take peace from the earth. Yeah. Oh, I got that. Uh. It says, uh, this is uh, Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Yeah, the Native Americans were not red people, right? They, the red man is this guy right here, yeah, him and his cousins and his brothers, yeah. That's the red people, not the Native Americans. Revolution, no thank you. No thank you. Go home with that shit. Yeah, that revolution spirit. Oh, yeah, the child, man, the brother going to say to me, yeah, brother, whenever y'all ready to kick it off, let me know. I said, whenever y'all ready to kick it off, don't let me know, nigga. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm so I go the opposite way. Yeah. I need to go the opposite yeah. way, you niggas. Don't, don't let me know, because hey, I ain't got nothing to do with you, nigga. I'm call up. Come exactly. on, man. Yeah. You know how many you black revolutionaries yeah. died here in Babylon? It's gonna get blue to yeah, exactly. Come on, man. Why they make it out to establishment? Come on, man. Because you, you interfere with what the Lord got yeah. going on here, yeah. man. See, this is the Lord's program. He got this devil set up for a time. He wanted to, to rule, man. So you you should go against that. Right. You're going against the Lord, man. Going back to what I was saying, man. You had cats in the past that tried to. It wasn't the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't It wasn't that time. Man. And what system are they going to establish if they take down this system? Man, They're not going right. to establish a system off the laws of the Lord. That's it. They're going to establish some nigga system. Right, two yeah, 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 yeah. Free barbecue and yeah. fried chicken on Wednesdays. It's yeah. New, yeah. new for cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. What the nigga right. Tupac had a uh, law, the, uh, some shit, the gangster morals or some shit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on. The code yeah. against the code. Code against, yeah. <laughs> talking about is there a, a ghetto for gangsters? A heaven for gangsters. Gangster. Maybe like what this nigga on drugs? Hey, well, 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 <laughs> you know what? Uh, uh, you uh, done died and left the earth. You gotta go deal with some gangbangers in heaven, hell. No, right, right, right. Ass, <laughs> right here, man. Hey, you know, Pop, Pop, damn, they wrote his own Bible. He say, uh, yeah, Pop was on drugs. Uh, Lord bless the man who can hold his own. own. <laughs> hey, Pop was changing the words of the Bible, yeah. like motherfucker, man. Making his own up. Making yeah. his own up. Check through that, man. We talk, talk about power, only man. God can judge me now. Right. Oh, God, God had the gangbangers judge, judge your ass. Right. <laughs> it says, and they that should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Hey, I'm telling you, man, the Bible said. The Bible says, right now what we say, friends about to be fighting like enemies, man. You be seeing packs of groups walking down the street. Yeah, buddy, man, that was fun last night, man. We had a good time. Bro, these people about to turn on each other. I'm watching on the internet, man. I'm watching a husband and a wife. They arguing over a stupid little argument, right? Yeah, a week later, he done stabbed the bitch to death, man. He done, yeah, he done killed the whole man. He done killed the whole Yeah, and she was a woman who spoke against violence. And her ass got put to death by violence. Yeah. Should know when to shut the fuck up. Exactly. And your white boy said, "No way to hold him, no way to fold him." <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, you people don't know when to fall back. Nope. That's another problem. Your goddamn mouths is gonna get you killed. Your mouths is gonna get you killed. Look at Donald Trump. Donald Trump be spewing so much bullshit. Oh, yeah, he yeah. gotta go back and. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Nigga, you know what you said. Yeah, you said fuck the other nations. Right. If them other nations owe America money, you're not going to help them. Right, right, right. right? That's more house divided, mm -hmm. right? Because guess what? You depend on the mother nations, man. Yeah, who the fuck you got going to war overseas, man? The mother nations, mm -hmm. right? right? Who the hell you need help when you got to go to war? The mother right. nations. Mm -hmm. And now you got a devil in America talking about forget the other nations, man. Mm -hmm. So what the other nations feeling like, man? Hey, forget America. Mm -hmm. Right? Donald Trump, what, three years ago, he, he in the midst of the other European leaders. He done push the European leaders out the way, man. Mm -hmm. Talk about, yeah, this is my show. This is my show. Good, good old push, too. Made it known push. This is the most prideful man right now. He saw Edom in America. As he's going down. As he's going down. He really don't want to go down. No, no, no. And not at all. Go ahead, so. I got another one. This, uh, this is Ezekiel 35. And fun. And the brothers were mentioning how Hey, not only have they, they messed up over Gad, they did that to the whole 12 tribes of Israel, man. And even these heathens, but fuck them heathens, man. <laughs> and this is uh, Ezekiel 35, 5. Because thou hast, 
had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of the calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. This man has broken all the laws. Thou shalt not steal, murder, Kill. right? Man, his whole heart is against the system way of righteousness, right? He's not here to work out a, a, a agreement with you. How can we work together to get a good conclusion of something? No, he's thinking, I want this. And I'm going to do anything I can to take this from this man, man. And he's going to make you look like the criminal. This man done stole the land from the, the chosen people. Now he got the chosen people looking like the face of criminality in America. I discovered. Yeah. Luckily. Come on, man. Discover. Some good. Somebody right, already right, yeah. <laughs> The water, soldier. Hey. Oh, it says, verse 6. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare unto thee blood, and the blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Hey, the Lord's about to smoke. <laughs> the Lord, since you, since you love shedding blood, blood, the Lord's about to. Man. Oh, he's saying Lord's red smoke. He has his apple right there. Man, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, the oh, arms ain't working. He got to pull himself on his feet. Yeah, yeah what? Good arm. Another one thought of a gang sign. <laughs> oh my God. Man. What's that verse? Blood defiles the land. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You get that for me, Baba Kusha? Hey, this land is unfixable, uncleansable, right? This Numbers chapter 35 and verse 33. What happened? This Numbers 35 and 32. It's like a 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood and defile the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Yeah. Multiple bodies, multiple bodies been dropped across America, right? Been dropped across America. And by who? The people that are running America. The people sitting in your Oval Offices, the people making your laws, man, the people running your whole institutions. They're the ones who drop the blood, man. Man, and, hold on, buddy. You're America's sister too, buddy. Yeah. That's what they're trying to do you. Like Obama told you, man. You, you got to help on this, on this national debt yes, here, national buddy. Debt. <laughs> hey, Obama tried to put the debt on every American, man. <laughs> Brothers is like, man, I don't owe nobody nothing. Come on, man. I don't, I don't owe nobody nothing. I didn't man. go to war with these motherfuckers. Hey, you overseas picking fights with other uh -huh. nations, and now you're looking for us to pay for these things, man. First off, too much blood. Let's go back to that blood. Let's talk about this, the blood that the so-called white man done dropped on earth. Go ahead, please. This Numbers chapter 35 and verse 36 says, like in 36, it says, so ye shall not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Yeah, because the Lord is a righteous power. Right? It says, um, we're waiting to get recompense unto them that trouble us. God re re uh, require that which is past. Which is past. It's a righteous thing with the most high to uh, recompense. recompense tribulation. That trouble you, yep. Exactly. Right? And who's the trouble people? The people of the Heavenly Father. Right? The people who who had made an oath with the Lord through Moses, right? The Lord gave Moses the laws and statutes to give to the children of Israel, man, so we could know how to operate different from the other nations. That's what separates us from the other nations. We know how to operate in a righteous way. These other nations don't know that. They don't know that. That's why they deal with each other the way they do. That's why they treat their people the way they do. All of their rulers are evil. So how do you expect them to treat us? Treat us good, right? When they don't, he said he that is Evil to, evil to himself, and who will he be good to? Right? These other nations don't care about their own people, so why would you think they're going to care about you? I'm talking about vote for Trump. Right? You done lost your goddamn mind. Let me get that over there right quick. Start at the 13, 12 verse. Boy, this is uh, Numbers chapter 35 and verse 13. He that is evil to himself. To whom will he be good? How is he evil to himself? He's poisoning the same water he got to drink, right? When he sprayed his chemtrails, man, that shit goes everywhere. He got to breathe that in too, right? He's taxing his own people, right? He's, who's the main face complaining on television? Other Edomites. They're complaining about the opioid addiction. Who put that on them? Other Edomites, right? They're complaining about being overtaxed. Why, why, why all for profit? All for profit. You, 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 you fucking poison. Not just uh, uh, neighborhoods, 
not just cities, but whole states, whole and country, shit, man. whole countries, with this shit, whole all for profit, man. And guess what? It's also in Canada. Mm. They got a bad opioid addiction oh, yeah. over in Canada, man. Homelessness in Canada, poverty in Canada, right? Over in Europe, right? A lot of European countries are starting to look the same. Yep. A bunch of poor people on the streets. Good. Hey, Good. Russia, they had. Um, remember, we had. Uh, oh, so they had that. Uh, they got, they got the, uh, not the opioid, but what's out there? What's the name of that shit? Heron. Heron. So now they got the, they mix it with something they call it uh, crocodile shit. They've been had that shit in Russia. They've been had them niggas over there uh, overdosing and getting high. AIDS epidemic is high over there in Russia, man, because of that shit, man. They share needles like a motherfucker, man. Yeah. So, this, the, yeah, that plague is on their ass, heavy, that drug plague, man. That white boy trying to get so high, he trying to get high to heaven, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he trying to get another one. One way or another. <laughs> you gonna reach <laughs> Say, uh, he that rolled up a rock of the stone is gonna come back up a hill is gonna come back down. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. I got those diamonds. All day. Oh. Shit started 13. Yes, sir. This Obadiah uh, verse 12. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. See, the thing is, everything that's happening to you is because of what you did to us. Right? We're talking about that recompense, man. Right? The Lord is a righteous power, man. And the Lord loved the children of Israel. <laughs> right? The Lord's going to reestablish his children back on earth, and we're going to have those other nations in possession. Go ahead. It says, Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in a day of their destruction. Yeah, they rejoiced over our downfall. They rejoiced over us losing our lands, right? Being invaded. Right? That's why they make fun of us, mockery of us. We got some called blackface, right? Go ahead, brother. In the day of their destruction, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not look on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Come on, we tell you this man like taking things from the people of God, right? They took your land. They took your children. They took you, motherfucker. Put your ass on a cargo slave ship your balls hanging, a nigga above you shitting and pissing, falling all over you, right? Your daughter, you don't know where your daughter, you don't know where your wife is, they done separated your family, took your children, right? When your kids were born, there, there were babies, they were known as pups, right? One pup, they gave the bitch a nickel for every pup, and some hoes, they didn't give them nothing. What else? Some, they would stomp some of them babies out. Yeah, smush the baby with the bottom of their heel. Yep. What, 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 what about the mom fucking the son? The son, you know what I'm saying? The yeah, motherfucker. Where that the motherfucking mother son, motherfuckers. Breed Mo farms? Yeah, breed farms. Uh, Joel said they sold a boy for a harlot and a girl for wine. Yes, sir. And this is the history. You see? Yeah. But the history that he's ashamed of. Uh -huh. That's why I said shame shall cover the Hebrews. Shame shall you. Mm -hmm. This verse 14. It says, For neither shouldest thou have stood in a crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in a day of distress. That's why it says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. Mm -hmm. Right? Them old racist motherfuckers, they ain't around right now. Who gonna pay? They you kids gonna have to pay. Yeah, yeah. you people walking around today, y'all gonna have to pay. Go ahead, brother. Hey, hey, that's why the Lord got to move it closer and closer to the inner city and neighborhoods, man. Because they're going to be easy prey at that time, man. Easy, oh, yeah. easy pickings, man. You know? Yeah, these cities where you got, what they call it, uh, gentrification. Mm -hmm. That looked like a great setup to me. That's the Lord setting up Edomites. And they didn't, they didn't kick the uh, niggas out of Cabrini Green, but they're going to move them to these apartments in there and then build up these high rises. Man, they're going to come back for business, man, when that time comes, man. They ain't thinking about that shit, man. Hey, you got high park, high park stacked over there. You got all types of nation over there. Yeah. Ten minutes of the street is old block. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 You know? Hey, man, them, them checks going to get crazy them times. Uh -huh. Hey, them devils wanted that high park back, back so bad, but they couldn't get it, man. He saw one of that back bad, man. He hey, got real estate. They man. show you in Planet of the Apes how Jay going to be acting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you know they got a new one out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to be nasty. Man, I'm not going to let that alone, man. Huh? Hey, yeah. This shit weak as hell. I like the original ones. Yeah, I do too. That's what I have. Yep. That's the best one. The best yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. This Obadiah yeah. verse 15. That's why it was For the day of Yahweh is, a, is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. We always speak about Esau, Edom, but man, you gotta realize Ishmael's going down. Yep. Right. Moab is going down. You had the Moabites, man, last year, talking about we're gonna change the Bible. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They talking about um, 
Jesus Christ stoned the woman he was talking to. Yeah, she asked him a question. He didn't like it. And he, they said he stoned her to death. So they done changed the change from stuff in the Bible. Like, like, oh, hell no, man. President G tripping. What happened? <laughs> yeah, what happened, right? The next thing you know, the worst weather patterns done came. That they um the value of their economy done went dropped by at least man at least man a great number of points. Mm -hmm. Their gross domestic product, man, they're suffering over in China. More well, homeless people, well, actually, stores they have, closed. They got they actually yeah. finance they got exposed because it was all lies. It was always bogus. It was lies. It, it's called inflation. They they hyperinflated their numbers for yeah. their money, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, we uh, compared like to Donald the, Trump, you do. Hey, lying about his pockets when he got in his bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we just we just exposing these devils, these other heathen nations, man. That's what it's about, man. They don't have the things that they claim they have. Right. <laughs> They're like MTV crib. That no one really. That was house. their houses. Yeah. Right. That one really ain't shit, man. They written shit and all that. Right, right. Yeah. Only one that was real was Red Man. Said in the ghetto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take so nuts, man. Go ahead. There's over, there's over there in verse 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. And we desperately need this day, man, because the main thing is what that being saved and delivered. Because right now we're able to stand on the streets and speak pretty soon. Man. You are not going to want to leave your house, man. You are not going to want to leave your house. The only reason you're going to leave your house is because your stomach is growling. Or because you're afraid that man, about you about you gonna die in this house, man. It ain't safe in this house. Or you dragged up out that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> no, I'm watching one thing, man. The dude said I'm gonna just leave my front door open with a lot of stuff in front, make it look like it been ransacked already, so nobody mess with it. I'm like, man, these that's girl you know, <laughs> that's that, What's he that ostrich effect, ain't it? <laughs> And what she had, I don't think that's too wise, cause she had a motherfucker desperate, still gonna be like, well, shit, maybe they left a little crumb. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, all these niggas here. Nigga, give me this shit, nigga. It says, thy reward shall return upon thy own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the he that drink continually, yea, they shall drink. And they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. I'm gonna bring an account for in the book of Obadiah. You got a question? No, I just feel a lot, but you tell me to talk to Carlos. Not him. Carlos. Oh, Oh, Okay. Okay. That's the man to go to. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He did. He gave. He gave you his number, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So yeah. You're good. You're good. Been, You're good. Yeah. You're good. I've been in contact with him. Right now, I'm reading Proverbs. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wisdom and instruction. That's it. Yeah. Wisdom and instruction. Yeah. I was gonna share my testimony with him. Yeah. Um, I told him I was gonna give him today. Well, just give him a but, call. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Give him a call whenever you can. But uh, what's no. your name? Alyssa. Alyssa. Yeah. yeah I'll let him. I definitely let him know that you came by but you you know you can give him a call don't be a stranger to yeah. him yeah I, yeah but, him but yeah you can definitely just, hey listen out and you know what i'm saying yeah not a problem that's a beautiful thing man oh, yeah. yeah i was gonna share um the testimony yes go ahead he's probably watching you can yeah. speak <laughs> <laughs> hi okay so for like before valentine's day for like the past three prior to valentine's day i was just like really sad i was angry actually because i had an ex-boyfriend and exactly a year ago he decided to break up with me and I, it's puppy love first love but my fault was putting a relationship over my relationship with the lord i was thinking that my relationship with god one of the commandments the first commandment says that you should only have one god and you should not put other gods above him that was my mistake. Learned that the hard way. I was angry for the past year. I had a lot of resentment and hate in my heart. I was reading scripture being like, I'm sorry God for doing what I did. But I wasn't repenting. I was saying I'm sorry, but I'm saying I'm sorry different from repenting. 
just get fed spiritually as well you know what i'm saying and because that's really what it's all about because when shit hit the fan all right the prophecies come to pass where things are getting worse and worse because this is the world that the most high has given unto the wicked all right to just do what they do so we can see the consequences of going the contrary way you know as opposed to going according to the most high god and his way and what he calls righteousness right so it's about to end this present temporal evil world just like the scripture says we're going to matter of fact somebody grab that in that galatians uh uh one and four i believe it is whoever get it first galatians one and four uh this is galatians one and four uh-huh who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world? You see, who is uh, going to deliver us? Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, right? And so he's coming with wrath and mercy. Somebody give me that. Uh, in, in Sirach chapter uh, 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 5. And you can go straight to the point for wrath and mercy. Go ahead. It's Sirach 5 and 6. Uh-huh. And say not his mercy is great, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Uh -huh. For mercy and wrath come from him. For mercy and wrath comes from the Lord. And that's what he's coming with. He's coming with wrath for those that was about this world Ooh. and all the carnal mindsets of this world. And he's coming for mercy for those who uh, repented for being about this world. Because we all were at one point in our ignorance, right? Because this is what we were taught. But when the, uh, uh, the Lord blesses us with the, uh, 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 this truth, right, and, and expose us to this truth, well, we want to forsake this world and return back to him, right, and show our faith by having the mindset of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, and doing what's right. And part of, like you said, you know, that you held some type of resentment, right? But then just, you know, from reading and getting guided by, you know, the brother, you know, it just it dissipates, you know what I'm saying? Which that's a good thing, right? So you want to get caught up in that mercy, right? And so that's what it's all about, having the, the true understanding of the word of God. Because a lot of our people has been misled, you know? And actually all of us had been misled at one point in time. 
but as it says, mercy and wrath come from him. And he's coming with mercy for the elect, all right? The men, women, and children of his people that return to the true, uh, 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 truth of the Bible. But if you do that, then those around you, your so-called family, your so-called friends, they're gonna be like, man, what's wrong with how? What's wrong with him? Man, 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 he used to, you know, do this, that, and other thing, but now he all in the Bible, and then he talking about the destruction of this place. Well, that's the will of the Father. The destruction of a place that he's given over unto the wicked. Job 9, 24. Somebody give me that. See, the most high God, he's a righteous God, right? So he's not gonna give the world into the wicked for forever. All right, the wicked has just a moment of time to rule. All right, and it was for a purpose as well. All right, you got it? Yeah. Go so, ahead, brother. Job 9 and 24. Uh huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. See, the, and somebody give me the joy of the hypocrites but for a moment, right? So it says that the, the, read it again, brother. It says Job 9 and 24. Uh huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who could give the earth into anyone's hands? I'll, I'll, I'll read it for you. I'm going to tell you who can give the earth into anyone's hand. As a matter of fact, this is uh, the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 10, verse 4. It says, The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. That's in due time, after the wicked gets its time. Like I have a saying, uh, 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 the wicked gets its time like the righteous gets its eternity because the most high God he's a righteous God he's not going to give the earth to the hand of the wicked for eternity he's giving the, uh, 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 the, the righteous all right the world for eternity but the righteous had to be made righteous and it took this present temporal evil world to make us righteous so we can go through all the experiences lifetime after lifetime after lifetime that we go through and see that when we lead to our own understanding, when we establish our own righteousness, it never works. It always produces what's going on in the world today. Rape, rob, murder, death, kill, envy, wars, hate. This is what leading to your own understanding produces. You see? So we want to lean to the righteousness of the Most High God. See, but right now in a, a present temporal evil world, that's not so popular. See, you guess something? Yeah. Yep. It's like everything the, man, the brother just mentioned, they think it's right in this world. They, 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 they try to gear it towards this. It's okay for a war to happen. That's, that's been going on for so long. No, we want to live in a righteous world, a peaceful world. This, this, this earth is, is, is the uh, Lord's, this is paradise, man. But not here in Babylon. Man, right. You know? Well, because it says because of the inhabitants thereof, they have turned everything upside, upside down. down. Nah. The Bible says how the, uh, the foundations of the earth are out of course. So instead of a paradise, if it was being ran, what he say righteousness is, the do's and don'ts of the Most High God, then it would be a paradise. But when you do the opposite of what he say, what's the opposite of paradise? A living hell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what this world is right now. See, and people don't know what's going on, don't know. And then, when shit really hit the fan, when it, Jacob's trouble come at his apex, it's like the brother was just saying, like, man, you know, you, you're going to want to stay in the house some damn way. You know what I'm saying? Because of all the craziness and the chaotic times that's going to be going on, and it's going to be no 911. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be crazy. So then people going to want answers. We got the answers right here and right now. You see? So you can, that's why it says in Isaiah 33 and 6, I'm going to grab that. Uh, I mean, no, 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 what you got? Uh, I'm going to just quote it. Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, For wisdom and knowledge, the wisdom and knowledge of the word of God shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. The fear of the Lord is distressed. You see? So when people don't know what's going on, they're going to be all crazy. What's going on? Why is it? I thought this was America. God, I thought you loved me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When all manner of craziness going on, because people are going to be desperate. You see? Well, go ahead, brother. What you got? This is Isaiah 59 and 15. It reads, Yea, truth faileth. He that departed from evil make himself a prey. Woo. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. You see? He that departed from evil, if you depart from the mindset of this world, then you make yourself a prey. 
And then the predators are those that still love this world. That's right. The scripture says, hey, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, because I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. And like he said, the Lord said, he said, well, uh, 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 the world cannot hate you. Uh, what, what is a uh, Jew? But me it hated, right? But it's also going to hate us because we come with that message. You see? So, Job 9 24 says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, but just for a time. Because watch this. This Job 20 and 4. Knowest thou not this of old? Since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. The triumphing of the wicked is short. So check it out. It says the triumphing of the wicked, because he's given the earth into the hand of the wicked, right? And it's a wicked nation of people, all right, which is Esau, Edom, the biblical Edomites, which today they call themselves so-called white, white people, people, you know? Yeah. And the heads of them call themselves JOOSs, you see? That's the heads of them, the elites, the banking families that's running the world right now. That's the wicked. So it says, the, uh, uh, read it again, brother. Job 20 and 5, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. It's short. The triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. And the joy of the hypocrite is just but for a moment. But during that same moment of the joy of the hypocrite. Tom, this is the book of 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. For our light affliction. So wait a minute. For our light affliction. The affliction of the special chosen royal people of the Most High God, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the tribes, right? So during the joy of the hypocrite, which is but for a moment, well, we have our affliction. Go ahead. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Is but for a what? But for a moment. But for a moment. That same moment that the wicked get to prosper, we, we go ahead and go through our afflictions, our trials, our tribulations, you see? And it's all for a purpose. It's like when you're trying to purify something, you purify it by way of fire. Right. So right now, we're being purified through the spiritual fire, standing up for righteousness in a world of wickedness, standing up for the light in a world of darkness, right? And so those that's about the, the, this world, those that's about the darkness, those that's about wickedness, they gonna hate us. And even those that's about wickedness, they don't think that they're about wickedness. <laughs> you know, they think that they're doing something good. You know, like my own family, my own mama, who's still in, in these churches of this world today. And she'll tell you she's so sweet as pie. <laughs> but here it is, she's about a wicked carnal mindset and don't even know. Here it is, I come and say something, and it's just like, oh my God. but, like, oh, all right, I got to go, baby. Love you. I heard you. I heard you know you. what I'm saying? They don't want to hear it. Just like it says, a prophet is not known in his own home. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a little TJ used to pee in the bed. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Smoke weed and mm -hmm. do this, that, and the other thing. She never, should never see you as who you are now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And the scripture said that. Go ahead. Con, it says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, uh -huh. worketh us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You see that? That's beautiful. He said our light affliction, which is but for a moment, it worketh something in us. What do it work? It, it's, it worketh I'm going to read it again. Uh -huh. <laughs> for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You see? An eternal weight of glory. That's why he said in that Romans, if you suffer with me, we shall be glorified together. You see? So he said, hey, be not conformed. Somebody get that. Be not conformed to this world. This is why he told us, don't be conformed to this world. Because this world is full of wickedness. This world is full of those who establish their own righteousness. And then they throw what the most high so calls righteousness behind their back. You see? See, before man came on the scene... The most high God, the creator, he already established what righteousness is. He already established what, you know, right from wrong is. So here come man, creation, and they're going to say what God, the creator, messed up. Right, right. He don't know what righteousness is. This is what it is. No. We got to learn what we say righteousness is. No matter how unpopular it is right now. 
in a world of wickedness. Go ahead, brother. This is the book of Romans 12, verse 2. And it reads, And be not conformed to this world, you see, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, you see, that ye may prove that which is that lucky that what is good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high acceptable see we want to be doing what's acceptable not to man what's acceptable to the most high god we want to be found doing or in rehearsing the righteous acts what he calls righteousness which is acceptable to him so when he comes we can pre be presented holy unblameable and unreprovable as the scripture says but first it starts with changing our mind. Again, don't be conformed to this world because what we're trying to be conformed to is the image of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. See, which is acceptable. Yes, sir. Because you was talking about the light. This first Thessalonians 5 and 5. Ye are all the children of light uh -huh. and the children of the day. Yep. We are not of the night nor of darkness. That night and darkness represents this world and the mindsets of this world. It's darkness. He said we, we that are part of the elect and back here we hope to be part of the elect just like you do, right? So now we gotta, like the scripture says, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Give diligence in being about this truth, all right? But go ahead, brother. First Thessalonians 5 and 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do. See, don't sleep, all right? Meaning, again, you about this world, right? And I give an analogy sometimes where you sleep and you party, you all about this world. It's like this. Hey, hey, all right, you about this world, you party, you know what I'm saying? You going to school, you thinking about 10, 20, 30 years from now, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. But then, next thing you know, you get a tap on the shoulder. Huh? What? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You didn't know that, hey, the Lord was coming. You see? And so that's what we watching for. Because what did it say? Uh, this First Thessalonians 5 and 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Let us not sleep. Let us be woke. Let us be watching. Mm -hmm. What are we watching for? The prophecies, the signs of the times. Because the Lord said, hey, this is going to happen, and this going to happen, and this going to happen, and this going to happen, and then I'm going to send my son. I have a question. Yep. So, it talks about, like, the mark of the yeah. Well, about the mark of the beast? Let's go to it. Let's do it. You want to finish that real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no, he, he, he was going to finish that Thessalonians, but uh, I guess it's fine. But it's okay. We can just go to uh, uh, unless yeah, unless you want to, if you want to finish it, or we can just go straight to Revelation. Yeah, go ahead, brother. This Revelation chapter thirteen and sixteen. Uh huh. And he calls of all, both small and great. It says he, he calls it all, both small and great. Who is he? Well, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? And he has a a moment to rule. The mark of the beast. Yeah, yep. Uh, 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 the, uh, the RFID chips, That's all right? Uh, radio frequency identification. Yes. So you see this, this little chip right here? This is what they want to use to put inside of everyone in the world so they can play God, so they can know your every purchase, so they can know your every sale. So they can know your every movement. So they can know all, all they, but they're gonna play like it's something good for you. You know, they're gonna and they're gonna play like it's the, you know, it's the saving grace of what's going on in the world. It's a thing called auto ab chaos, which means order out of chaos. And so what the 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 elites, the, the those that's ruling this world right now, they're gonna engineer some type of chaos. All right, it's gonna be madness stupid right and whether it's some, some you know different false flag events or however they do it to get all the chaos going on in the in, in the world especially right here in america right so then everybody is just like oh, what's going on and then they just need they want anything that's get back to some type of normalcy right 
And so then they're gonna come. Ha, da, 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 da. You know, we got the answer. Everyone, take this. It'll have all your records. You, you know, if you, you know, get lost somewhere, there'll be you'll be able to be found. It'll have all your medical records. It'll, you know, they're gonna, uh, 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 you know, again, play it something good. You know, they're gonna make it sound so sweet. They gonna have all the celebrities, the rappers, and the singers, and the actresses. You know what I'm saying? Saying, "Hey, go get yours." It's just like a. Uh, well, about voting, they, you know, they had Jay Z and all that rock the vote, you know what I'm saying, and all this, you know, and even uh, when it came down to the uh, the, the juicy juice, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, they had <laughs> all kind of songs and medleys, right, you right. know, so it's gonna be no different with this, right? They're gonna play it like it's something that's good for you, but it's all to play ultimately be God. Mm -hmm. What's that? Yes. I just want to eat healthy, and now they're like, scan your hand, and that's how you pay. Exactly. Which means that's how I pay. Exactly. I have a I pay, but So, so check it out. Soon, what they're about to do is they're 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 not gonna force you to take it directly, but they're gonna force people to take it indirectly, meaning that they're gonna mandate it. And if you want to be a part of society, all right, you want to be able to go to your job. You want to be able to buy and sell. You want to be able to go to the Cubs game. You know, you want to be able to do this, that, or the other. You're going to have to get this. Elder, what you just said about that Cubs game, that's going to get a lot of people that sports yep. stuff, yep. the entertainment. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. You also want to know something interesting? Look at the shape of a stadium. You know what it's the shape of? Look like an eye. Eye. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from there, so I have to go back home because I over so high. You say you from where? LA. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I was lying by some kind of like, why? Like, it looked like an eye. Yeah, that's the Rams. Uh, uh, say, is it the Rams or? So, so far, Rams. So far, Rams. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chargers? Yeah. Rams and Chargers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I yeah. don't watch Wait. football. Well, all of it goes, those stadium thing, I'm going back to the Rome. Rome. Yeah. 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 So, they showed one of the Coliseums in Rome, man. They said these stadiums are small compared to what they had in Rome, bro. Wow. They're yeah. like five times bigger. Yeah. Wow. Everybody yeah. was at those stadiums. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, they said the ones in Rome were way bigger than the ones in America. Well, that was the entertainment. So everybody, everybody showed up. Right. So let's go, let's, let's, let's read that again. It's uh, Revelation 13. It's 16. Uh huh. And he calls him all, both small and great, uh huh. Rich and poor, free and bond, uh huh. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. That's it. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell. You see, and that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the mark. Save he that had that mark. That mark. You see? Go ahead. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And that means that, hey, ultimately, if those who take that, they basically, matter of fact, somebody catch me real quick. I'm going to fall back. You see, because it's, it's, it's like this. Who are you leaning on to just say, you know what, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's going on, but you know what, forget it. You either going to do this with Esau and take his chip, or you're going to do this with the most high God, Yahweh Shemi Awashah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Lord, get me. I don't know how I'm about to eat. I don't know how I'm about to do this, that, and the other thing. Have my essentials. But, Lord, you say that if I trust in you and I lean on you, you go, you got me some way, shape, form, or fashion. I'm going to eat. And, 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 and the scripture says that these things are going to happen. Hey, hey, I love you, brother. Hey, yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Oh wow! This is, so you, you you've been in LA for all your life then. Yeah, and then when it snowed, I got last time I got COVID. <laughs> so how long you been here? Um, well, I'm a freshman. So okay. Like oh okay. All right, that's what's up. Well, hey, the Lord sent you here, and then you ran into Carlos, man. That was the best thing that could ever happen to you. You know, because now you're getting this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding directly from a man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate all of you telling me this information because this is how I learned. 
Absolutely. Thank the Lord. Man. Hey, yeah. That's why we all praise you. Yeah. Yeah. All praise to y'all. I'm having a question. Uh huh. In the Bible, does it mention anything about borders, like from Babylon and like surrounding countries, like with corruption? I don't understand your okay. question. So, in the Bible, you know, like it talks about like different like places. Is there a Bible verse that talks about how multiple people want to come to Babylon? Like but this I, place is like a melting pot. Yeah, but like people want to come here and then like assimilate with the world. Is there like a um, in the revelations it speaks about how um, America's been like a beacon Gold, for the world? Uh, been like a golden cup. Right. Uh, so most of the nations they come here to get this education system, to learn the ways of Babylon, really for work. Yeah. And they make money and they go back home. But the thing that they're taking back home is that American spirit. Right. That's the problem. Like a lot of Hispanics, they used to come here and make money and go back home. But now they're making money, taking the same vibration of America and taking it back home with them and polluting their land polluting their people. I, the Lord's against that spirit. I recently went to Mexico for the first time mm -hmm. uh, um, for a break. When I tell you what, what I saw at the border in real life, because it's different seeing it on a screen, but then actually experiencing it. What did you see? Just that people. bad? Prostitution is legal on the border of San Diego and Tijuana. Multiple prostitutes. You see children selling food for money, and I kid you not, they were like three years old, begging by themselves at 10, 11 p.m. Man, that's crazy. I okay, so I didn't know, but here in Chicago, we're having this thing called like, um, well, with the whole problem with the border in Texas, we're getting 10,000 buses each week. Yeah. 10,000 buses, and then these people are coming from Venezuela because of what's going on in Venezuela. So I've been actually volunteering, and then I met this lady on the street, and then I just got her food. She told me that she had not eaten three days, nor did her daughter. And when people pass by them, they spit on them. Well, here's one thing that's going on because you got a misconception might be going on. You know, the news is saying that they're getting a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're getting a stipend, but I know the government takes the government a lot of that takes money. All that yeah, so I know how it's going. I mean, so I got to readjust my stance on that too. Is there anything like correlating or like hypothesizing what's going on with like, immigration and here? Well, again, you know, it, it's all prophecy, but at the end of the day, it's like even with them coming over here like that, man, it's something, you know, to it because they're going to have some sleeper sales amongst, oh, yeah. you know, uh, uh, all those Venezuelans and, you know, other Hamites that's coming, you know what I'm saying? All whites. Yeah, yeah. African you know, it's going to have some, yeah. So it's something more sinister to it all. <laughs> they also have a hell of a goddamn child uh, a trafficking ring going on right now on that border. Yeah. They say as soon as the kids come across, they got cars and vans to come pick them up and they sending them to different destinations. So there's a lot of wickedness that's going on down there, man. So I can imagine your eyes and heart was sore down there, man. You know, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, I mean, again, it, it, it's a, a, a more sinister yeah. agenda yeah, that they got so. going on, yeah. that they got these people. It ain't just, oh, you know, love. No, 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 you know what I'm no, saying? We, love we, we want to take care of them. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that. No. You know what I'm saying? It's something more sinister. I don't know the exact details of everything, you know, as far as, you know, them over here and coming. But you best believe that it's not something that where they just trying to help and, you know, anything like that. But, uh, because we, yeah, go ahead. Like, back to what you just said, because when you think about it, they've been trying to bring Mexicans across the border. They've been, what do they do? They got the uh, immigration and border patrol down there. So why all of a sudden, in 2024, are you allowing all these different nationalities groups to come by? When they've been 2019, 2010, they've been trying to come across the border. But they ain't been letting them cross. But now all of a sudden they're letting them cross. Something sinister is going on. You never trust thy enemy. Our scriptures speak. Here's the verse you're looking for. This is Hosea 9 and 13. Ephraim, which represents the northern kingdom, the so-called Hispanics, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer, to the American. Hosea 9, 13? Yeah, Hosea 9, verse 13. Ephraim, 
as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place, but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. And that's what they're doing. They're bringing their children to America thinking you're going to get a better life in America. Mm -hmm. You just said the women are being spat on. You had people who haven't eaten in three, four days. And how much money they said they collected for all these migrants, yeah, man? Yeah. Ain't nothing being... And giving them monthly checks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. A lot of this stuff is lies, yeah. man. Or somebody's getting that money, but it ain't the people. The politicians. Yeah, yeah, the politicians. Definitely. New York just uh, passed the rule where they giving their migrants uh, uh, like uh, housing fees, uh, clothes, vultures, and all, all, all these different things, man. So something's going on, man. Yeah, I'm going to read a quick one. Uh, this is Revelation 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling. It's falling. All right, it's talking, Babylon talking about uh, uh, America, right? this last kingdom, this last empire of this present temporal evil world. So it says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling, it's falling, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All right, so all her democracies and philosophies and just wickedness, all right, that, that is just the, 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 the westernized mindset is now going all over the world. All right, and here it is. These kingdoms, these nations are seeing that ultimately they got soul foods gold. You see? And so now, you got some? No, no, oh. you're right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the lies. That's why I say hey, the nations are mad. You know I, what I'm saying? I, 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 it's like I'm right there for you. Bro. Go ahead, bro. I got the Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon have been a golden cup, and I think that's what you're speaking about. We're going everything into you, bro. In, in the Lord's hand, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, yeah. therefore the nations are mad. Yep. Yep. Ba Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take take mom for her pain. If so, be so she may be healed. Right. But she is not healed. She will not, not be healed. healed. All right, because this is the season. consequences of going contrary to the righteousness of the Most High God. All right, and, and Esau, Edom, they are the most wicked nation of people that now has lied to the nations and, oh wow, and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and lied to the nations and put out all this, these philosophies that's going on in the world today, their democracies and everything, see? What, what do it lead to? The death. downfall, a death. You see, and then now the, the nations are seeing like, wait a minute, Come on, you know man. what I'm saying? Little chinks in the armor. So here it is, you know, especially the nations like, you know, Russia and China, and, you know, uh, they vying for the next top spot. You see, that's what the scriptures talk about. Uh, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? You see, we'll go ahead. Yep. It's Jeremiah 15 and 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder <laughs> and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? That's it. That's the future. Go That's ahead, it. Bro. Because it's all the prophecies, man. It's all the will of the Father. And again, he's given them an amount of time to, to rule and do what they do. But just like all kingdoms of this world, they have a rise and then they have a fall. You see? Why? Well, let's get that, uh, 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 let's get Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter um, 10 and 8. I'm sorry. It's like ecclesia, the called out. Yeah, the called out, the out call, like the, like the church, you know. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiasticus yeah. 10 verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. You see, the kingdom and rulership of this world is translated from one nation of people to another nation of people because they all rule with heathenistic, unrighteous ways. You see, but Esau and Edom, they rule with just total 100% contrary ways, all right, to, to the, uh, the righteousness of the Most High God. And it, it says if they do any good, they do it unwillingly, unwillingly yeah. you know, and they just have to throw in some good directions just to fool. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just the food, just so you think that oh, this is good. Real in the middle of you it. know, you know what I'm saying. So they throw a few good tenants in there, you know, and so ultimately it's still a downfall. It's still ways of death, you see. And so here it is: the elect is coming back to the ways of righteousness, man, the ways of life. But like the scripture says, before honor and being saved and being 
put as the special chosen, perfect, righteous people on top. It says before that honor is humility. So we have to humble ourselves to the will of the Most High God and go through all the, the things that we're going to go through. And it's not fun. Somebody get that in uh, Hebrews, uh, the uh, uh, chastity. Uh, yeah. Can I see one of you? Oh, hell yeah. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus. I'm going to start at um, 12 and 10. It reads, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a, a looking glass. Slide. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. So it says, never trust thine enemy. First, our people have to understand who is the enemy. That's true. Mm -hmm. You know? But then we go to Psalms uh, 83, and it gives you a list <laughs> of, of the enemies. All right? And it reads off some of these nations. All right, who's had a part in taking the remembrance of who we are out of us by lying to us, all right? Telling us we're this, we're that, you know what I'm saying? We're that, we're this, and we can claim anything but who we actually are. Uh -huh. You can say you whoever, you can say you, you know, whatever nation, and they'll be like, all right, cool. But if you say you're an Israelite, a special chosen child of the Most High God, oh man. You, 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 you're a horrible person. You're anti-Semitic. You're yeah, right, right. You know, they love to throw that out. That's uh -huh. your favorite. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit that. That's your favorite. It's Hebrews chapter 12 and verse uh, 6. Yeah, you go straight to the point. Or wherever the Spirit has you go. It's Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 5. It's Hebrews 12 and 11. Now, no chastening for the present seeming to be joyous, but grieving. See, no chastening. Do you know uh, uh, the technical definition of the word chasten? I was just asking what that means. It means to punish for the sake of moral improvement. So not just punish you just to be punishing you. No, punishing you for the sake of moral improvement. And who got the copyright on morality? Who got the copyright on what true right from wrong is? The most high. The most high. Yeah. No, what I was trying to say is like white people in this society right. say like all right. the morals yeah. right. and then abide everything by the government. Right. Like, that's the real law. Right. That's, that's it. What I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah. No, I get, I get where you're going. I get where I maybe should have, you know, asked it a different way, but uh, because yeah, yeah, somebody would have thought about that, but uh, but no, not you know in this society, but overall, period, which is the Most High God, right? So he got the copyright on what true morals is. So according to what he say morality is, he is cultivating his special chosen children, starting off with the elect. I hope to endure to the end and be a part of that number. You see? So that means that we're going to have to accept the punishment. You see? We're going to have to accept that this present temporal evil world is not our rest. Somebody get that. Micah uh, 2 and 10. You see? Because if, if, whenever you got to go. Yeah. I didn't start going now, but I'm sorry. I have to memorize your name. All right. For a while. Kowal. Yeah, I'm Yakia. Yeah. By the time you walk off, you're going to forget <laughs> each and every one. But it's all good. <laughs> you it's got, all good. You got hey, but but, but you, you remember Carlos and you yeah. got that yeah. number, so that's really that's all you good. need. Good. You know what I'm saying? Good. You're good from then. Yep. You know? You are good from there with that brother. It's a beautiful brother. Very nope. knowledgeable. Nope. Show yeah. your testimony. Don't forget to show your testimony with that brother. Yeah, let him know. Yes. Yep. I'll text him later. All um, right. I need to read some scripture. I'm not going to talk about it. Okay, well, well you take care of it. All right. Hey, let's still read the scripture. Oh, yeah. Micah? I got the mic. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, okay. brother. Are no, you good? It's Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. The Lord telling us, man, the special chosen children. Arise ye, depart. Now, is he talking about depart and book you a ticket? You know what I'm saying? Or somewhere? You know what I'm saying? No, 
shelter, where can you go to? Right. Without hell about to break loose everywhere. <laughs> right. Yeah, unless you got a, a, a ticket to another galaxy, right, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. <laughs> you see? So, but you don't. So at the end of the day, you know, hey, all right, we want a ticket on, on a chair. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know? But we have to uh, 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 work out our salvation with fear and trembling, man. Right. Uh -huh. and, and give diligence to make our call in an election sure. But go ahead. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, but it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. You see, it's polluted. This world is corrupt with all the, the, uh, 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 the mindsets of man where they are totally contrary to the mindset of the Most High God. You see, and people extol and exalt those carnal, unrighteous mindsets above the mindset of the Most High God. And that's why they do the things that they do. All right, because if you truly was about the Most High God and exalted His mind, all right, well, you're going to be trying to emulate and imitate Yahweh All right, who is acceptable to the Most High God. Any other thing is unacceptable. Uncivilized. You see? Uncivilized. So you say anything else is uncivilized. Yeah. You see? And so no, this is not our rest, man, no. in a polluted world. You see, our rest is in the pure, righteous kingdom, the eternal righteous kingdom, man. Alright, which is to come. And that's why the Lord and Savior, he was always saying, and then, you know, was telling the disciples, turned apostles, to hey, y'all go tell them the same thing, which was repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand you see and that is our rest that's our inheritance man and the kingdom of heaven is going to be right here on the earth man that's right after the renovation of this earth by way of fire you see well, still got this thing yeah, yeah yeah nobody told me man. <laughs> well, I, I just noticed it. right right and then i happen to look in the camera and i'm like wait a minute you see but this world is polluted, man. He didn't give us the polluted one. <laughs> See, in this polluted earth, uh, world, all right, this is where we go through all the experiences, all right, that we have to go through, okay? And you best believe it says, through much tribulation shall ye enter into the kingdom of heaven. To your, you, with much tribulation shall ye enter into your rest. You can't escape with tribulation. No. No, no matter no matter what, man. No matter what. Even if you, you know, so-called flourish and prospering in this world, like the so-called celebrities of our people, the Michael Jordans, the Oprah Winfrey's, the Denzel's, and the whoever's, you know, the, the Kanye's, right? But here it is, Kanye making videos. I can't see my daughter, my kids, they don't go to their birthday party. Kim won't let me. Well, I'm gonna this, that, and the other thing. You a billionaire. Yeah, right. You see? And your mom, what about your moms? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Going through all these things so, so you can't escape it. Bill Gates, wife of the boy. All these rich men and women are leaving them also. Right. So, hey, you're going to suffer either way it goes. So you might as well suffer for righteousness. For righteousness. That's right. <laughs> yeah, <real talk. laughs> you know, and at, at the same time, you're being purified and perfected. That's right. And being built up to be the profitable, righteous, perfect rulers in the kingdom to come, man. Be the aristocrats, man. You got something, brother? Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah Jake tried to escape the person, but you can't. You can't. You can't at all. You can't run. You That's can't it. Hide. You can sit up here and try to make as many cushions as you want. Hey, look, um, Jake gets slapped with tax evasion, rape charges, you know what I'm saying? All sorts of things. Exactly. Got all the money, but somehow that guy won't find some way to take it from you. Well, for one, when you basically you get to a certain level, you got to do some funny things yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they got that, whether it be on camera, whether it be recorded, whether whatever, they got it. So if you try to get a conscience, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and turn coat on them, oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, they got something over your head. They got something over you. So then they'll be like, hey, look what he do. Yeah, you know what I mean? This man is crazy, right, man. Right, right. You know what That's I'm saying? one of the things that they put on on society in, in this wicked world is to call somebody crazy. Yep. Yeah. You know, yes, that's, that's that's a hell of a, uh, a, a dark. You know, oh wow, yeah. yes. And then depending on who's saying it, mm -hmm. you know, you got this particular status in the world, so yeah. they're gonna believe what's coming out your mouth. So if they say uh, th that person say, hey, yeah, that person right there is crazy, mm -hmm. the world gonna believe it. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like you was about to say oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. You said, oh, okay. Already, <laughs> this is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 15. But the righteous live forevermore. Yep. Their reward also is with Yahweh. And the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom wow. and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. Wow, did you see that? So, hey, we're, while we down here, if you remain faithful, you can be covered. And then ultimately, when the, the wicked world is over with, then you're saved from the wrath of the Lord, man. But if you was with this polluted world, don't expect no salvation, no matter how good of a person you thought you was. <laughs> he shall take him his book, he shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor and make the creature the weapon for the revenge of his enemies. <laughs> he shall put the righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of in helmet. He shall take holiness for invincible shield. He's, oh, he's, his, so like, his severe wrath shall he sharpen for a sword and the sword shall fight with him against the youth. The unwise. Man, listen, you don't want to get caught up in being against the Most High God, all right, and our Lord and Savior, man. You see, you 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 want to be on the squad. You see, yeah, you want to be on the team. You don't want to be the Lord's op. That's you don't want to be the Lord's op. You do not want to do that. Don't get put in that trick bag. See, but if you about this present temporal evil world, you're trying to live your best life. You're trying to prosper and flourish in this world then you are up, mm -hmm. all right, to the most high God, man. That's right. You see? But those who have made their bodies a living sacrifice, they're about the will of the Father, the structure of the Father, all right? You're, 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 you're uh, striving lawfully, all right? You're coming up under his structure and following the men that he sent. You see, that's how it goes. Or see, just like uh, the Apostle Paul said, be ye followers of me as I am of Yahweh Shai. So if you're following the, the, the true men of the Lord, all right, being guided by the true men of the Lord that he sent, that he's actually speaking through, all right, then guess what? You're ultimately following your Shai. You see? This wisdom of Solomon 3 and uh, 15, you see that? For glorious is the fruit of good labors. Wow. And the root of wisdom shall never fall away. Wow. The root of wisdom shall never fall, fall away. And all the, the carnal mindsets of man, all right, that's going to wither away like the grass, all right? Going to fade away like the flower, all right? But the word of the Most High God, that endures forever. So you might want to cling hold to that, all right? You got something? Yes, this is the book of 1 John 2 and 17. And the world passeth away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Read it again, brother. Mm -hmm. And the world passeth away. The world passeth away and all the mindsets of this world. You see, all the wills of man that was contrary to the Most High God is going to pass away. It ain't going to happen, Jack. Go ahead. <laughs> and the world passeth away and the lust thereof. And the lust thereof. And he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. And that's what it's all about, man, doing the will of the Father. You see, rolling with his will. Rolling with his plan, rolling with his structure. Rolling, you see. And the Lord said, "Hey, you gotta uh, 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 receive who I send to receive me. Yep. All right, and to receive my Father, you first must receive me. But you first gotta receive who I sent, because they're in the stead of Yahweh Shai right now, the true men of the Lord. All right, like the Scripture says, we are ambassadors. All right." For Hamashiach, as though the Most High did beseech you by us. <laughs> you see? Because the, the, the men of the Lord are the shepherds to guide the sheep in the way of righteousness. So you can be safe. Because a jackleg preacher and all these false prophets, they're the hirelings, man. They don't care nothing about the sheep. All right? They care about their own praise, their own glory, their own gain. You see? But here it is, would it look like us getting some glory before the, the one who gets the preeminence gets the glory? 
How you going to be glorified first? Right. How you going to want some glory and down here on the earth, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh who died for us, our big brother and our hero, ain't glorified on the earth yet. What it look like I'm getting some? That shit's stupid as hell. That's way out of order, man. All right, so forget some glory right now. All right? No, I, I, I'm extolling Yahweh Shai. He is the prototype. All right? He is the this is the way he said I am the way the truth and the life all right because he's the only one that beat death he beat it got the victory over death here it is all these uh, 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 rulers of this world all right the wicked and these heathen nations man they be trying to find a way to live forever they do probably if you can all that you're looking for it. search never found they be dying yeah. all the time. Hey, they got a yeah, uh, uh, had a nice movie on that, man. That cup, you remember that? Uh, Elixir? Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, billionaire rich Edomites in the past were trying to freeze their bodies. Yeah. They didn't think they're going to come back. Yeah. You see? They think drinking blood, young people's blood, is going to keep them young and shit, all type right. of stuff. The babies see? and shit. Because yeah. that's what it's all about. Life, yeah. man. Yeah. Living. Truly living. You see? But here it is. They can't find a way to see. <laughs> Here it is that their mindsets always get got by time. <laughs> it's only one mindset that can stand the test of time. All right. And that's the mindset of the most high God. All right. It's Yahweh Shah. It's the word of God. That stands the test of time because it endures forever. It's righteousness. And in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 15. It says righteousness is immortal. <laughs> you see, people establishing their own righteousness but be dying. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Look at these rulers, man. Once they die, their whole thought pattern dies with, with them. them. It comes right. a new ruler with his own a new ideas. thought pattern, new ideas. Exactly. Exactly. Always coming up with something because hey, the last thing didn't work. work. Mm -hmm. Nothing works but the righteousness of the Most High God. Nothing leads to world peace but the righteousness of the Most High God and obeying what he say morality is. That's the only thing that's gonna to lead to world peace, man. All right, but first, this place where the evil was sown gotta be uprooted. All right, you had a few scripts? Yes, sir. This Sirach 20, uh, yep, this Sirach 23 and 27. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, <laughs> and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of Yahweh. Nothing sweeter. <laughs> man, that's beautiful, man. Because, hey, again, this is a part of why this present temporal evil world is even here. All right? That's a part of it, is that, hey, you see that all these mindsets, it don't work. People oh. always dying, people always at war. You see? And, and so, if this present temporal evil world wasn't here, you wouldn't have known that. You see? But now you you seeing, all right, well, shit, this didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. And then here comes the Lord with, hey, now his mindset. Where he said in that second address, uh, uh, wicked deeds shall bear no rule anymore. All right? It says that the righteous deeds going to be a force. And then people are going to see like, well, damn, it was nothing actually sweeter yeah. than, than that other listen shit to, to, the Lord. <laughs> the, to listen to the, the creator, the inventor. That's how it go, man. If somebody invents something, you see, and you want the best out of that invention, that product, yep. well, roll with the instructions of the inventor, exactly. man. We'll sit up here, you get the box, throw the goddamn uh, instructions. The instructions. <laughs> yeah, you know start saying? putting it together. Right. Start doing your own away. thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that thing may work for a little bit, but you don't get the best out of it. And if you like Esau Edom, you doing the opposite of the instructions. That thing going to break quick. That's why it says that the world hates fast to pass away. Because now Esau Edom, they doing the opposite of the instructions of the Most High God, man. So again, instead of a paradise, this world here is a hell, man. 
where people are mourning, people kill themselves. Oh, yeah. Murder, suicide all the time. I don't want to live anymore. Wow. You, see, you see, this is supposed to be a, a paradise where you enjoy yourself, man. Truly live. But the Lord had to show you, man, no way work but the most highs, man. What you got, brother? Mm -hmm. oh, through the experience, we want you to understand that. That's why we went through all the that's why in that Sirach it says he that have traveled knoweth many things and he that uh, have much experience will declare wisdom and so we had to experience this world that was given over unto the wicked that was given over unto these heathen nations for them to exact their heathenistic ways and do contrary to the righteousness of the most high God yeah. and even us yeah. and even us we uh, forsook the most high God Yep. And we forsook the way of the Most High God. Black baby are crazy. It's just yeah, 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 yeah
exactly what you're going to perform in the show, in the, uh, 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 you know, the actual performance. You see? So here it is, right here and now in this world, we, the Israelites, we should be fighting this flesh, all right, to rehearse what we're ultimately going to perform in the kingdom. What are we going to perform in the kingdom? Righteousness. That's right. What the Most High say is right. So that's what we should, we should be rehearsing right now. Of course, in this sinful flesh, we can't do it perfectly right now. That's why the scripture says, a just man falleth seven times but get back up again. All right? But you can't use that as a cloak, a cloak of maliciousness. You see? Just that, oh, well, I can't right. be perfect, so right. fuck it. I'm going to just fuck up or whatever, you know, and I ain't going to give a fuck. Right. No. All right? You're going to feel bad about that. Like uh, King David said, my sins are ever before me. You see? But he don't let that weigh him down. All right? He continued to rehearse the righteous acts and do what's right to the best of his ability to show and prove his faith. All right? And that's what we got to be about, man. We, we got to be about the do's and don'ts of the Most High God, man. No matter what this flesh want. Because just like the Apostle Paul said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. And this is a part of the condition of the battle. All right? And even when we do righteousness, he said, evil is present with me. You see? And so that we begging the Lord to hasten that day because he said, the Apostle Paul said, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of his death? I want to do this. He said, for, for to will is present with me. All right? The Apostle Paul, he wanted to do perfectly the will of the Father. But he said, how to perform that which is good, I find not. Because, well, again, we in this sinful flesh. This is a part of the obstacle. All right, this is a part of our trial. All right, but. All right, but again, you know, you had to have these obstacles to see who was the best that's going to pr still produce what's right in the eyes of the Most High God, even though you trapped in something that want to do all manner of things wicked. All the things of this world, your flesh want to do that. All right? But we got to fight to do what's right. You see? And then ultimately, and have that hope of salvation. Like, Lord, please hasten that day. Hurry, come. So I can be changed in a, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye from these vile bodies, all right, to the, the glorious bodies that we're going to get that's going to have the law, statutes, and commandments, and righteousness written in our minds and our hearts, man. That's a promise from the Most High God. And he's not a man that he should lie. He should, all the, uh, you know, the punishment, you know, for forsaking his righteousness, that came to pass. So the salvation and what he promised, all right, and us getting these new bodies, that's going to come to pass too. All right? You have something though? This uh, Proverbs 3 and verse 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart. That's it. And lean not into thy own understanding. Lean not into thy own understanding. My philosophy. <laughs> no. I'm rolling with the wisdom of the Most High God. Because every time I roll with my own philosophy, I wind up in, in a messed up situation, man. Yep. Worse than what you were before. That's it. Go ahead. Verse 6. And it says, Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Yep, in, in all thy ways. All right, acknowledge Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, because hey, he's the reason for everything. It says through him, all things consist. <laughs> so in all things, we're acknowledging the Lord and Savior, man, Yahweh Shah, which ultimately that's acknowledging the Most High God. All right, go ahead. And he shall direct thy path. You see, I want my path to be directed, man, by the Most High God. All right? And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. I want my, my, my path to be directed because I know that, hey, no matter, you know, uh, uh, where he's sending me, no matter even if I go through ups and downs and whatever, this, that, and other thing, I know that it's all for my learning. I, I know it's all for my being purified and, 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 and perfection, but at the end of it all, it's going to turn into a, 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 a robe of honor, a robe of glory for me, ultimately. Go ahead. Matter of fact, somebody grab that in uh, Sirach chapter 6. We can start around like verse 19. But go ahead. You finish that. Verse 
7. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. You see? Be not wise in thy own eyes. Because if you wise in your in your own eyes, you best believe you're going to delve into some evilness. You see? So we got to uh, roll with what's wise in the eyes of the Most High God. And if it ain't wise in the Most High's, uh, 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 Most High God eyes, all right, then we don't want to, you know, we don't want to be about that. You see? But again, it's, it's being trapped in this flesh, right? It's a work, man. It's a fight. It's a war. You know? But some people just, hey, they, they ain't even warring. They just totally wave the white flag to, to the flesh. They totally wave the white flag to this world. They totally wave the white flag to death. See? No, I, I'm good. I, I want to get the victory over death. I want to get the victory over this flesh. I want to get the victory over this world. It says he that overcometh, all right, to him, all right, will I, I give this and that. And ultimately, again, salvation, man. You got that? Oh, yeah. This is uh, Sirach 6 and uh, 14. A faithful friend is a strong defense. Is that what you want me to start up? No, well, it was 19, but that's good, too. Okay. Because that's ultimately what we want to be a, a, a called a friend, all right, to the Most High God. And, hey, there ain't no better defense than Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right. You see? But here it is. You're going to be tried and tested. To, he Well, he going to try and test you to see truly if you his friend just like he did with uh, our, our forefather abraham man yep. all right he was tried and tested and he obeyed man he was about the will of the father even when he didn't know like damn what oh, you want me to okay lord i hey you know first hey just hey get up hey feed your family yep. oh okay i don't know where i'm going but you know my family right here but that's so, all right you know what i'm saying all right now go ahead and sacrifice your son you know say Oh, all right. You know what I'm saying, Lord? You know, he just went with it. He obeyed because he trusted in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's how we should be all right. through it all. Even when he say, hey, man, make your body a living sacrifice. Right. Even when he say, hey, hey, do what's right and suffer for it. We have the greatest example in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, who suffered for righteousness sake, man. See, but at the end of it all, our Lord and Savior is glorified in the heavens, waiting to be glorified on the earth. And that's coming right soon, man. You see, for all that our Lord went through, man, but he remained faithful, okay, to the Most High God, the Father. He was about the Father's business, all right? And that's what we should be about, our Father's business, all right? And the Father's business is righteousness, immortality. Chapter 19. This yeah. is uh, Surah 6 and 19. Uh huh. Come unto her as one that ploweth and so See, we got to be about this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? And having faith in it. Okay? But it says, Come unto wisdom, come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth. All right? So we're, we're working here. We're working here. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh -huh. And wait for her good fruits. <laughs> for thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her. But thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Sirach 6 and 20. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. See, she is very unpleasant to the unlearned because wisdom got to try you first by her discipline. All right? And so you're going to go through this and that. And then again, not only you're going to go through for uh, and, and dealing with punishments for your own, you know, uh, uh, sins and, and, and things that you did that was bad. But we're also going to have to go through and, and suffer for being about righteousness, man. See? And so this is a part of the test. It says wisdom is going to try you, man. See, but the unlearned, all right, the unlearned, what did it say? Verse 20. Uh, Surak 6 and 20, she is very unpleasant to the unlearned. Uh -huh. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. You see, he that is without understanding will not remain with her, with wisdom. All right, because the unlearned is going to get offended, all right, at what we have to go through. All right, the unlearned is going to get offended, okay, 
for having to make their body a living sacrifice, no longer be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right, all the things that you used to do that was contrary to the righteousness of the Most High God that your flesh loved, you're gonna have to start cutting that off. You see, but the unlearned gonna get offended at that. All right, it's no longer about the money, cars, clothes, the whole success, fortune, and fame no more. Nope, it's about going through this walk, suffering, bearing our cross, just like our Lord did. He said, hey, if you don't get behind me and, you know, and bear your cross, you can not be my disciples. So some may get offended at that. Here it is, you, you know, you, you coming into the truth and you losing so-called friends, even family members are disowning you or whatever the case may be. You see? Right. The scriptures say jump for joy. Matter of fact, hey, what's that in that Luke, uh, is that Luke 6 where it's talking about jump for joy? Yeah, Luke 6. Yeah. Grab that for me real quick. They say, hey, when you you going through all these things for the truth's sake, for your how sake, man, hey, rejoice. <laughs> rejoice because you in good company. We're in the company of the prophets, man, of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh this Luke 6 and 22. Go blessed are ye when men shall hate you. See, blessed are ye when men shall hate you. But hate you for what? Well, we're going to get to it. And when they shall separate you from their company. When they shall separate you from their company, disown you. And, and do that for what? We're going to get to it. And shall reproach you. And shall reproach you, shame you. Say all manner of evil about you. Why? We're going to get to it. It says, and cast out your name as evil. And cast out your name as evil. All right? It says, re the Bible is telling you rejoice when these things happen to you. Go ahead. It says, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Why? For the Son of Man's sake. For the Son of Man's sake. Who is the Son of Man? Yahweh Shah. The Word of God. The truth. All right? You're about the truth now. And so now people separate you from their company. They're casting out your name as evil. They're reproaching you, shaming you. Because you're all about the truth now. You're no longer about this world. You're no longer about the mindsets of this world. You're no longer about the money, cars, clothes, the whole success, fortune, and fame. You ain't, you, you know, chasing the bag. Now, of course, we got to, you know, work and make money, of course. All right? But it ain't all about that to, you know, get, be rich and flourish and prosper with, with the wicked. No, all right? We're now about the kingdom of heaven. And so we got to patiently wait for the kingdom of heaven. And while we patiently wait, we're going to have to go through all manner of things, suffering for the truth's sake. So, so read it again. I'm not going to stop. It's Luke 6 and 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you uh -huh. and when they shall separate you from their company yep. and shall reproach you. And cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Keep going. Verse 23. Rejoice ye in that day. Rejoice ye in that day. And leap for joy. Leap for joy. We always talk about, it reminds me of uh, Michael Jordan shot on Elo. You know what I'm saying? It's good. And he, how he leaped. Yeah, yeah. So here it is. When we going through for the truth's sake, rejoice, man. Leap for joy. Ha! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Are you hating on me because I'm about the truth? Ah, yeah! You don't like right. me. Yeah, you don't like me. You you, you shaming me and cat, you saying I'm just an old, evil, wicked person? Ha, 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 Yes! Right? Go ahead. It says... Verse 23, rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. Yeah. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. Your reward is great in the eternal righteous kingdom that's going to be right here on the earth. That's where you get your reward. See, it, people getting their little rewards right here and now, it, it, it's going to fly away. Uh -huh. All right? It talks about the fleeting pleasures. You see? Your pleasure, your reward is going to fleet gonna leave you you see but when the elect get their reward it's an eternal reward man it's forever never to be taken away it's only gonna grow go ahead verse 24 uh, it's like is it the last part it says for in like manner 
did their fathers unto the prophets. Yep. In like manner did their fathers. So uh, uh, whoever is reproaching you and shaming you and casting out your uh, name is evil because you are about the truth. Well, whoever did that, so did their fathers. All right. And we are our forefathers. So it was them in, back in the day, just like we were the prophets back in the day. And if you're not one of the prophets and you're just one of the body of believers, all right, well, they shamed and did the same, you know, some, some, some of the similar things to you. You see, because you trusted and you believed in, 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 in the truth. Okay? So it, what did it say? Verse 24, but woe unto you that are rich. Uh-oh. For ye have received your consolation. See, those that's about this world, all right, those just get to, hey, do whatever it is your flesh want to do. All right, you get to establish your own righteousness. You flourish in here in this world or even attempting to. All right, well, you received your consolation, right? And, and the consolation, that's a, a, a where well, you get the word console. You need some console. Oh, you, 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 this is like, you know, the, uh, 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 the, 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 billionaires of our people, the Dr. Dre's, the Rihanna's, the Kanye's, Oprah's, and whoever else, you know. Oh, you got a billion dollars. Oh, oh so sorry. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got. Oh, poor baby. You know, and I always equated to that, uh, uh, the price is right. You remember the price is right. The last two contestants, right, they will be going for the big, huge prize, whether it be, you know, 25000 uh, a five-day trip to Tahiti, right, right, right. you know, a yacht, you know what I'm saying? And that's what the grand prize winner get. Right. But then the one who didn't win, they get a consolation yeah. prize. Right. All right, here's your pack of 12 right. Pepsi. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's your consolation. That's right. all you got. You didn't get the 25000 or the yacht mm -hmm. or the, the, the trip to Tahiti. But you know what? Here's some, you're not leaving empty handed. Oh, you're not leaving it empty handed. So that's the, you got a, 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 a six pack, 12 pack of Pepsi. Right, right. You know? And so that six pack, uh -oh, that six pack, 12 pack of Pepsi, that's the that's the billion dollars, all right, that some of our people got. Oh, poor baby. You see? So no, we don't want, you know, to prosper and flourish in this present temporal evil world. Because when you prosper and flourish, people praise you. They want to be like you. They want to know how you got that and be like you so they can get some of that. Show, show me the way. Right. So they're going to want to be like you and praise you and glorify you, right? Well, no. Again, our Lord and Savior must be glorified first. You see? And so, no, man, we, we make our bodies a living sacrifice and we go through what we have to go through, right? Until, you know, the, 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 the Lord comes, man, and saves us. Okay, but you got something? Yeah, I got a quick one. Yep. This wisdom of Solomon 9 and 6. For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. Woo! You see, if the wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh ain't with you, it ain't nothing, man. No matter how much money you got, no matter, you know, how people look at you and praise you and want your autograph and touch your hand and then they don't never want to wash theirs right, right, you know what right, i'm saying right, right. I'm you know wash it again. right oh i he's i seen you know or let's say whoever it is uh you know michael jordan, michael jordan. Right. he spit out his gum right. oh <laughs> wow, the gum. this is michael jordan's put gum it, put, it put it in the case right. you know what i'm saying oh i have it. Right. but in the eyes of the most high god he ain't nothing regarded and ultimately, he just get old and die. You see? See, I want to emulate the one who beat death. <laughs> I want to imitate the one who got the victory over the flesh. That's the way I want to roll. You see? Because then ultimately, you're made perfect. You're made righteous. All right? You're made immortal. And then you reign forevermore with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Um, so let's go back to that uh, Sirach. Uh, this is Sirach 
Sirach uh, 6 and um, 20. She is Sirach 6 and, uh, 6 and 21. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial. Yeah, see, this wisdom is going to lie upon you as a mighty stone of trial, all right, to test you, to see, you know, what you truly about, all right? Are you truly about the righteousness of the Most High God? We'll fight for it. Go ahead. He will cast her from him ere it be long. See, the unlearned is going to cast that mighty stone of trial off them. All right, it's just too much. That's why our Lord and Savior said, blessed are those who's not offended in me. Well, like I always say, that denotes that something is going to be offensive. If the Lord said, blessed are those who's not offended in me, that means something can be offensive. You see? But don't be offended. All right? Keep trudging on because it's all for your good, man. It's all for, you know, us you know, it's, it's working for us, a work in us to purify and perfect us to be the righteous, perfect, profitable rulers that we're ultimately going to be. Yeah, then well, you know what the Lord telling you everything anyway. So so you can expect whatever come your way, you can expect it, so you won't be offended. That's it. That's it. When it do come to pass, it should be a faith booster. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when this Jacob trouble come and you know all these things are happening, man, you know. Well, we've been saying it, 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 it like the scripture said yeah. it was going to happen. Now, here it is. So, guess what? We're that much closer to our salvation in the kingdom of heaven. That's scriptural truth. That's it. That's it. You see? We'll go ahead. we we'll finish that out. And then, whatever y'all got, you know how, you know, I'll just. Sirach 6 and uh, 22. For, for wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. She's not manifest unto many. All right, only the elect, okay? All right, and, and, and you know, w when you talk about 100% of the Israelites, those who this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is not manifest to, all right? Well, the, those that it is manifest to is a few, all right, compared to the many who is not manifest to, man. So we've got to be extra thankful, man. Extra humble, the more, uh, uh, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. You see? That the Lord has bestowed this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, a measure of faith and a measure of understanding to us, man. All right, go ahead. Uh, Sirach 6 and uh, 20, 20, uh, 4, 23, slack. Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and re refuse not my counsel. Refuse not my counsel. See, people refuse the counsel of Yahweh Shem Yahushai because we have to go through our trial and our tests and the lowest state and the, you know, the tribulations and the persecutions and the, you know, all the things that we have to go through, yet remain faithful, yet keep our integrity. Go ahead. Sirach 6 and 24. And put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck unto her chain. So be a slave to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You see? Because if you serve Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, then ultimately it's going to turn to your good and it's going to say so. Go ahead. Sirach 60, 25. Uh-huh. Bow, bow down thy shoulders and, and bear her. And bear her. Bear wisdom and all the things that we have to go through. Bear that. Bear your cross. All right. Our Lord and Savior, he did. All right. And he left an, a, an example and he left us guides, shepherds. All right, to guide us in the way of righteousness. Go ahead. And be not grieved with her bonds. Be not grieved with her bonds. All right. Now, it says that the chastening of the Lord don't seem to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, it worketh a peaceable fruit of righteousness to them that are exercised thereby. And that's why Paul, I think that was in that Romans 5, he said, man, we glory in tribulation. Now, when we, we going through the tribulation, we ain't talking about, ha ha, yes. You know what I'm saying? We going through it, you know, but long as we continue to fight and do what's right, we look back on it and say, man, I, I, you know, I fought and did, you know, the right thing when I was going through that, man. All right? And it, it, it's a beautiful thing because we're part of this legacy, man. You know? So we glory in the whole, you know, process to be made purified and perfected because we ultimately know what's about to happen right soon 
and us being, you know, uh, 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 exalted from this abased state. See, go ahead. Surah 6 to 26. Come unto her with thy whole heart uh -huh. and keep her ways with all thy power. With all thy power. Go ahead. Uh, search and seek and she shall be made known unto thee. Right. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. go. For at the at the last. Uh huh. Here's the point. For at the last shall find her rest, oh. and and that shall be turned into thy joy. That shall be turned into thy joy. And that's when our Lord and Savior comes. Right. That's why the scripture in that psalm is one of my favorites. It says, "Weeping may last for a night." But joy cometh in the morning, man. And, and that represents the coming of our Lord and Savior. Okay? It ain't talking about tomorrow morning. <laughs> because every day we wake up in this hell hole, all right, it's, it's, it's a, we're weeping. All right? So when our Lord and Savior comes, all right, it's going to be turned to our joy. A little bit more. Uh, Mr. Rock, 30. But there is a golden that's it yeah upon her and her bands are, are purple lakes uh-huh thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor and shall put her about as a crown of joy as a crown of joy so all of what we go through right now and if we keep our faith keep our integrity you know rehearsing the righteous acts striving lawfully doing what's right all right if, you know going through what we got to go through and standing up for righteousness in a world of wickedness man Ultimately, he said, hey, it's going to change to some glory for us. So when our Lord and Savior is glorified, then that some of that glory come pouring down on us. That's why he said, hey, if you suffer with me, we shall be glorified together. All right, go ahead. This is Sirach 1633. Uh, Sirach 1632. My son, if thou wilt, if thou wilt. Thou shalt be taught. Oh, okay, that was it. That was it. Right. And about, you know, it just that, that, you know, putting your feet into the fetters of wisdom, all right, and then your neck in the, the, the chain of wisdom, all right, it ultimately turns into a robe and a crown for you. <laughs> you see? And, and that's when we're complete. You see? And the most I know when we complete, and that's when he's going to send his son, because at, you know, the time that we're complete, well, the wicked has reached their height, all right, that they cannot pass, and then that's when our Lord and Savior comes and, and, and put the judgment on this place, all right, and the people that was about this world, save the elect, then, you know, uh, 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 set up the kingdom of heaven, man, which that's what it's all about, man, that's what it's all about, the kingdom of heaven, man, so, uh, y'all, 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 I don't know what time you're Whatever you ready, we figure this out. All right. All right, so, hey, uh, Lord willing, that was edifying. All right, with that, we want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh. Ha-Hashem, Yahushai, Ha-Hashem, Rekakadash. Shalom, and Kwam Yashal. Kwam Yashal. Wow. Beautiful.